So in this problem, we're told to find the most general antiderivative of the function. The function is equal to uh, x minus 5. And so let's just start off by writing our function. So basically what we're just want to do is find the antiderivative of this function. So we represent that by uh, capital F of x. And that's just how you represent the antiderivative of like a function like f of x. So OK, let's go ahead and do that. So we have x minus 5. So there's a rule that we want to use in order to find the derivative of some variable raised to an exponent. In this case, it's just 1. So we have x to the n. So if we want to find the antiderivative of x to the n, what we do is x to the n is equal to x to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. And so in this case, we have x to the 1, because x is the same thing as x to the 1. And so n is going to be equal to 1. So we have x to the, and then n is equal to 1. So 1 plus 1 over, and n is 1, so 1 plus 1. So this is going to be equal to x squared over 2 which is equal to 1 half x squared. We have f of x is equal to 1 half x squared. Then we want to find the derivative of minus 5x. And so basically, you can write minus 5x as the same thing as minus 5, or minus 5 as minus 5x to the 0. So if this is 0, we can try and find the antiderivative of it. So it's just minus 5 times the antiderivative of x to the 0. So x to the 0 is going to be, if n is 0, we have x to the 0 plus 1 over 1. So it's just going to be equal to x. So if we multiply it by minus 5, we get minus 5x. So put minus 5x here. So just like a rule of thumb, if you have a constant like minus 5, uh, the antiderivative is just going to be minus 5x. It, could, it doesn't matter what number it is, so it could be minus 26. So it would just be minus 26x. And then we're not done yet. So the thing that we have to add on every single time we take uh, the antiderivative of a function is c. So whenever you take the antiderivative of a function, just add c at the end of it. And so 1 half x squared minus 5x plus c is going to be the answer to this question.